The idea came uh, 15 years ago, actually, uh, through a conversation between Stéphane Cousteau, my associate, and myself. We wanted to create a very eclectic fair that was mixing design and modern paintings. There's actually the best galleries in the world of Canterbury design, uh, very cutting edge, very avant-garde. Each of those dealers are not only bringing quality, they're also bringing uh, uh, high taste and high spirit in what they're doing. That's uh, the main achievement of the fair, it's to bring together the best of the best. Because of the quality and the level of the design is so high and the artwork is so high, somehow it makes, it attracts, every, everyone wants to have a piece of it, everyone wants to see it, everyone wants to get inspired. It's actually very inspiring. So that I think is important. The great thing about this fair is you never know what you're going to fall in love with. You walk here and then you see something very contemporary or you see something like from the 18th century or you see something Viennese from the 1930s. So it, it's amazing. It's really my favorite fair actually. It still feels very intimate and the quality of the work and the way how they display in the work is like, it's very beautiful. Great location, centre of London. Uh, people are used to coming to this area to see the best objects, whatever it is, clothes, food, dentist, it's always the best in Mayfair. So uh, here we are with works of art, and since I'm London-based, that gives me great access to people in London who I can um, get to see throughout the year, but to come see an exhibition, because I don't have a gallery, it's great to have one quite close to home territory. I'm in love with the fair. It's incredibly elegant. I adore design. Uh, the mix and quality of dealers is superb. And I'm incredibly keen to exhibit what I show in an international context. And with this fair, you can do that. This work is by Patrick Caulfield. It's from 1963. It's called Concrete Villa. And I'm incredibly excited because it was awarded the title of best fine art work of the fair. He thought of this house as the ideal place for someone to live. He's put himself in the roof garden, that's a little self-portrait up there, and he's placed the house on this kind of Mondrian flat background, so it's a floating in abstract pictorial space. that the idea also to enlarge, create more space for new exhibitor has been very good, you know, because obviously the move upstairs of all the technical spaces has allowed for 58 galleries to be present. Well, I think the fair, you know, goes from strength to strength and uh, particularly the fine art, I think, is extraordinarily high quality. But also, I think this year, the quality of the furniture stands has risen to match the quality of the, of the fine art. So I think it's pretty even um, throughout. Well, we have been working for this stand for the last month, extremely hard, and we are taking works by Picasso, Emiro, Chida. We are from Spain and we have tried to bring our best staff and best artists to the effort. This fair? is something which is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best. I love the mix of uh, art and design, and on a really high level, like it is this year. In design, sometimes, it's not so easy to, to have this uh, uh, quality compared with art. And I think here, um, that's something which is uh, very, uh, very evident and very important. This is the second time we've done a project here for the NSPCC and we've tried to keep a project that's design related. We've asked 11 designers to design a Pantone chair, customize it really. I think it's the best show in London. I, um, it's my favorite. Um, I think it's absolutely unique. Um, they have the best of everything. Um, it's smaller than the big shows, it's more intimate and I think it's, the selection is fantastic.
It's a very high standard and it does seem to get better. It's amazing and also it's really, really varied. There are so many different mediums and also it's crossing over into kind of jewellery. It's very mixed. There's a real variety of different styles and different interpretations of art here. I think it's a good idea and I know that uh, they are bringing this to New York, which is a good idea, great idea. No, it's very special and the gallery uh, are really interesting. I've been here a few years in the past and I think this is one of the best events of its kind in London. Um, so I was looking forward to it very much, but it's been a really nice experience actually. Quality is amazing, everything is handmade, uh, it's one of its kind. And, um, you know, I'll be very proud of if I own any of the pieces. It's very beautifully done. I think it's tastefully done. They've got a wonderful selection of things. And uh, I come every year. It's on my favorite square. It's in the middle of town. And it's high quality, beauty, and a lot of fun people tonight. So, congratulations. Well, it's fun, it's vibrant. There's lots of different types of people. And I think people enjoy themselves. I would think it was a fantastic success.